everyone, it's Dr. Marco. Welcome to this week's health tip. So this one's going to be a little interesting. It's about a little self-care thing that I've kind of worked on. So today we're going to be talking about canker sores, so little ulcers that are ins inside the mouth. And uh, so they can be like a really painful little thing. It's almost like a hole. And uh, like in the, we call them mucosa on the inside of the mouth. And they can be super painful. So, um, you know, a lot of people don't know what it is, but Anthony Willem, if you know, I follow him and stuff, he basically knows it's more or less like a herpetic family of viruses that basically make their way and do some damage there. And um, so we all have viruses inside our body and stuff like that. And when you knock your immune system down or sometimes you, you chew and you accidentally bite the inside of the gum, it makes a little weak spot and then you can have this, they can take up shop and do some damage there. And herpetic viruses are, are really painful and they hurt a lot. So a lot of people that have like colon issues and stuff like that, if you got herpetic viruses inside your colon, it, you can have like, you know, you'd be considered like to have uh, colitis and irritable bowel and that kind of thing, because as the food passes by, it's kind of scraping along. So you just imagine food going by that, if that's on the inside of your colon, it can be really, really uncomfortable. So with this thing here, <clears throat> um, you know, he basically has like, uh, talks about, you know, doing the antiviral protocols, you know, obviously using celery juice and uh, cat's claw and all those kind of things. And um, one of the things, even right now with the whole, uh, you know, situation that's going around the pandemic, um, you know, some of the people are talking about the importance of zinc, how it has, a, has an ability to kind of prevent viruses from replicating, basically. So, um, you know, one of the things he talks about is, you know, obviously doing all these different diet protocols. But uh, if you remember a few, a while back, I, I talked about doing the zinc shock therapy, um, where he was talking about like dropping, putting zinc liquids right on your tonsils if you feel like you're kind of getting cold and sick and I've done that a couple of times where it was for sure the next day I was going to get sick and I did that and just left the zinc um, liquid on the tonsils and just let it soak it in into the white blood cells and into the tonsils and you know it happened twice and I never got sick at all the next day I woke up totally fine so um, I kind of take that protocol and modify it and with this one I think you can actually just put the zinc drops right on top of the ulcer if you can right on the on that on that sore and you notice it kind of, it's a little stains, it burns a little bit the first time you do it. But you, if you do it properly, usually within a day or two, you can probably start to have it healing a little bit and a lot faster than it normally would lasting maybe a week or two sometimes. And um, so initially I, I mentioned that the, the zing off fate that I had before, it was like really horrible tasting. I had this really brutal metallic taste and it was really hard to kind of keep it under my throat. But Anthony Willen was recommending uh, getting the Vimergy brand. And so I got that one. This is it here, Vimergy Zinc Sulfate. And what they've done is they, they added um, apple juice to this one. So there's purified water and organic apple juice. And it's totally, totally palatable. And I can just take these drops and have them no problem, put them under my tongue or drink them or put them in a the shake and stuff. And it, it's, not, it's not that horrible. It kind of masks that really devastating, uh, you know, yucky metal flavor. So I'm just going to show you what I do. I'm going to go into the mirror and hopefully I'll be able to film this, but I'm going to actually, you know, pull out my thing because I have a little bit of an ulcer right here. It happens usually if I get stressed or I don't sleep enough or eat too much junk food. Yes, I do that too sometimes. And uh, so I'm going to show you, I'm just going to film it in the mirror. I'm going to show you how I do it. So I'll just, you know, put it out like this, lean over to the side, take a drop, and I'll just try to drop it right on that spot. And uh, you get an idea of how you can do that. So I'd recommend uh, if you're going to go for zinc sulfate, try to get this Vimergy brand because it's actually quite, it tastes fine. And that organic apple juice in there is a really good, <laughs> a good addition. So um, let's take a look at that video. Okay, so hopefully you'll be able to see this. So I got to lean over because it's on this side. And I'm going to go to it right on. That's it. So I just put the drop on it and I'm just going to stay tilted on my side so it makes contact and it stays there and it absorbs into the spot. I've already done this twice. This is the third time today actually. And uh, it stings a lot less this time than the other two times. First time it was like pretty noticeable and now today it's a lot less noticeable. But uh, I can still feel it kind of working and doing its action in there. So that's it. Just leave it like that for a little while and then I'll repeat it, you know, two or three times each day. And then hopefully within a few days it'll be gone. Bye. And that's your health tip for this week. See you next time. Hopefully that was helpful. Take care. Bye.